We've just gone to a pond a short distance from the village just to catch uh, something small for supper. No rods, left the rods back home. Just brought hand lines. Oh! That's impressive. <laughs> Look at Nani. That's fantastic. <laughs> First cast over a branch. Yep. My next cast, I was treading on the line. <sighs> Takes a little bit of mastering this. I like the simplicity of hand lining. Particularly travelling with rods, you know, still be unpacking them, delving under the tarpaulin, putting them together. The fact that you can just uh, put it in your pocket and off you go. If you work too much to get your food, why bother? Over the next few days, I spend time with Rovin out fishing. It feels like we're on the same wavelength. Kindred spirits who love nothing more than being out in the wild, fishing. But despite all our angling, there's been no sign of any monsters. Then one day, with his brother Dennis in tow, we head to a deep rocky pool in the river, very different from the ponds we've been fishing in so far. There's a turbulent eddy that looks a likely fishing spot. This sort of fishing is my first real chance of showing the boys what I can do. The minute my bait hits the bottom, I make contact. Contact with something big. This feels big. Ball on the surface. I didn't see the fish. What I do know is that whatever I have hooked is too big to fight from the canoe. It's here. I can do you alright to grab the fins? Well, the fins. This is what they call a jaul. Very, very solid bodied and they love fast, rocky water like this. This was more or less straight under the boat. This has also got a reputation for being quite an aggressive catfish, grabbing older people's legs and things like that. I'm just gonna have one last feel of the weight of this fish. Ah, my goodness. It could weigh 90 pounds. Only one bother fish. It's further proof that monsters are hiding everywhere in this river. 